Welcome to the Plant Free MD Podcast with Dr. Anthony Chafee, where we discuss diet and nutrition and how this affects health and chronic disease, and show you how you can use this to optimize your health and happiness, both mentally and physically. In 2010, I changed my diet. Before that, I'd been prescribing the high carbohydrate diet. I wrote the book Law of Running, which promotes a very high carbohydrate diet. And this became a very popular book. And uh, classically, I've been seen tearing the pages out saying, I don't believe this. And anyway, so now I'm rewriting the fifth edition. But that promoted the high carbohydrate diet. And all that happened to me on a high carbohydrate diet was I developed type 2 diabetes. And then I was fortunate to read books on the low carbohydrate diet. I adopted the diet, reversed my type 2 diabetes and just felt magic and just lost, I felt like 20 years younger. So it was an amazing experience. The consequence of changing my diet was I lost all my funding because the people who were funding me were interested in promoting the plant-based high carbohydrate diet. And they did that obviously for financial reasons. And so I lost all that funding. And then the university turned on me and it basically excommunicated me by saying that by promoting this diet, the low carbohydrate, high fat diet, I was killing people, killing babies and so on. And so they, they, they turned their back on me, despite the fact that I'd worked there for 40 years and developed this center of excellence. And I'm just going to boast now that I'm the second most cited scientist at the medical scientist at that university. Despite that, they threw me out and uh, tried to humiliate me publicly. And I realized that I had a choice. I could either be humiliated publicly or stand up. Then it turned out very fortunately that I tweeted something and I was reported to the Health Professions Council in South Africa for saying that mothers should wean their babies onto a high fat, low carbohydrate diet, as we've done for millions of years. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but of course, people people don't know the history. So that anyway, we then went to court for four years. I was in court for 28 days had brilliant support team and in the end we won that and we won the appeal and so i was had been charged for misconduct etc that i was cleared of everything they found nothing wrong i was there were 13 charges and i won all 13 points so so that left me in limbo and fortunately and we'll talk about this i think that a young South African who's now working in America, he'd become interested in the low carbohydrate diet. He said, why don't we start doing some studies? Wouldn't you like to help us? And so I did. And we've now from over the past six years, we've done some magnificent work that's never been done. Mm. And we reversed 100 years of teaching in the sports sciences. The evidence is about to break. It's not quite there, but I mean, it's about to be published, but it's it's there. Then I can tell you a bit about it. And you 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 caught a lot of heat for that, and I think it just takes a lot of integrity. And and I I just uh, so want to congratulate you for that, and thank you for that because without your struggles, you know we would be you know ten years behind, and and we would be really struggling at this point. So I appreciate that. Thanks, Andy. You know, for me it was really simple because I mean I got diabetes on my own advice. Mm. So here I'm giving this advice, and it caused me to get diabetes. So. How could I live with myself to let that continue, knowing that this book is ranked as a great book on running? So everyone who picks it up is going to say, well, it's got to be high carbs. Mm -hmm. And the probability that they'll get diabetes in the long term is very high. So I couldn't I couldn't live with that. Yeah. In any case, I mean, it changed my life so much. I I just wish I'd I was originally high fat, low carbs Mm -hmm. because I was born to British parents in Rhodesia in Zimbabwe. And there were no processed foods when I was born. And my mother used to say that meat and fish are what give you brains. (laughs) That's what she said. Mm. 